Hello, and welcome to our session today. My name is James Timmons. Today I'm going to show you how to go in and to create uh, text for a jacket back or a full front and how to split that object and change the colors and add a border around an object in the Embroidery Studio E4. So first what we're going to do uh, from our work screen, I'm going to navigate, I'm going to click on the letter A here, so right click, I'll click inside my text box, type in my text, I'm going to navigate to my text style, I want to scroll down to my true type fonts. I'll select the font. I will also scroll down to my TTF conversion, which is my true type font conversion. So I select that here. My conversion settings properties box will pop up on my screen here. I'm going to navigate down to complex fill. And this time we'll use a 10 degree stitch angle for our fill. I'm going to select OK here, go back to our list, and we'll choose Create Text. Now, I'm going to press my Shift key down, grab a corner, and move this out. And change the size of this in inches. It's 10.8, and let's make this 12 inches. As you can see, that number here expanding, pulling out here, 12. At this point, I want to change the stitch type here to a tatami stitch. So I navigate up top and I'll left click here to change that. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go in. I'm going to select the text. And I'm going to scroll down and break it apart. What I'm also going to do is I want to go in and I want to uh, select uh, the text. Now my intention here is to go in. I want to add a border around the text but I also want to go here on the inside of the lettering and uh, cut the lettering so that I could uh, add more colors. So what I'm going to do first is in order to maintain uh, what I have currently on the screen, I'm going to intentionally put a running stitch border around everything. Uh, I'm gonna, so I'm going to add that because I'm going to use that a little bit later. As I select my text, I'll navigate to my simple offset tool here. I want to use the column. I can use the column C stitch for this one. Um, this uh, here, you have options basically that you can go in and you can use. I don't have any holes in my fill, so I don't need to create offsets for any holes at this point. I'm going to click OK here, and let's uh, use the satin column C. Okay, as I navigate to my pick tool, I want to change the size here, and I'll navigate up top to my measurement tool, and I'm going to make this 4, 4.5. Okay, I want to also change the color of this to a different color. Okay, so I've gone in, I placed my text on the screen, and I've, I've added my border around my text, but I also want to go in and I want to uh, add more colors to my lettering. So I'm going to split those letters apart. I'm going to click off of this. Also, can't forget to go to File and choose Save As. Name this file huge, and I'm going to save it as the EMB first. In my color object list, I'm going to select my color here. I want to right click, and I want to hide those. 
I'm going to select my text here and I'm going to navigate I'm going to click on my manual knife tool here and I'm just going to go in I'm going to go straight across like this press my control key down and come back across like this I'm going to press enter computer's calculating now here I want you to see this at this point here uh, by me breaking the text apart and going in you see the results for this one I purposely did this to show you what it looks like uh, to break the text apart uh, on that particular item and so when this happens we could always backtrack okay and so I'm going to navigate to my color object list here I'm going to right click on my color and I want to unhide it but what I also want to do with this as well I'm going to click on the outline and I'm going to cut it from the design momentarily I'm going to undo I'm going to take it back to the single lines that we see here at this point um, I want to go in and I want to uh, again I want to break this apart now this time when I go in I'll choose a different technique to use with this this time I'm going to click on my digitize open shape here and I'll right click on it here and so here's my vector line that I'm going to add to this and I'm just going to do a vector line just like this. I'm going to press enter. Okay. With that vector line, I'm going to go in and I want to split everything. I'll click my pick tool here. Now what's missing on my on my bars here as I go up top, as I right click, I want to have my shaping tools available and here I can click here the checkbox to make sure that they're here on screen so I'm gonna select everything here I'm gonna navigate down my shaping tools and I'm going to divide those letters okay once I divide everything here notice uh, the stitch angles and everything are still the same and at this point here also I can go in, I'm going to select, press control, and I'm selecting each item that I'm going to go in, and I want to change those colors, okay, and I'll go also to the bottom, where the split was for the, for the bottom, and I'm also going to go in, and I'm going to change the color there as well. Undo this. I'm going to make sure that only these are selected and I'm going to navigate and I'm going to change the color to what's on the bottom okay everything else as far as the uh, vector line that I created initially um, if I go to my reshape tool uh, here is my here are my vector lines here I don't need them anymore because I've already used them for the purpose that I needed to use them for so I'll select them here and I'll press delete okay that's going to lead me with just my colors here that I have on the screen and now I want to also bring back my outlines that I cut from the page before and all I'm going to do is navigate up top to paste or you can press control V to add the outlines okay I'm going to go up top I'm going to click my save design to make sure I save this again as the EMB file I also want to go in and I want to run my underlay stitches on my fills, my tatami stitches first. I can select those individually by navigating to edit and choosing I want to select by stitch type. I'll choose tatami and I'll click OK and notice in the color object list it selects all of my tatami stitches. At this point I'll go to my underlay and make sure that I have my edge run and as I scroll down, I also want to make sure that I have my tatami underlay stitch for those as well. 
okay as far as the underlays for the outlines I could just select them here easily from the color object list and making sure that the you can use the edge run on these and a center run for those and let's take a look at uh, what it stitches like I'm going to save this and I also want to go to, to design and I'm going to remove the small stitches from my small stitch filter here and I want to take that up to five tenths of a millimeter and on the bottom here my stitch count currently is 44,083 stitches and I just want to click OK here and it took it to 43,288 so it did remove all the stitches that are less than five tenths of a millimeter from the design and I'm going to click OK here as well to save those. And um, at this point here, if you want to go in, which is very important, to do your stitch player. And run this to make sure that everything is stitching properly. And as far as the border as well. okay I'm gonna click stop here and so for these as well um, right now it's uh, on my first color it did the U first and I but I wanted I want to stitch these two first here so I'm gonna go one and two I'm gonna click and drag these on the top and release them and I want this one to stitch first I'll click and drag this and now when I run my stitch player again here so this is what I'm expecting here and the border stitch here okay and if you need to we can also avoid uh, a trim here uh, on the brown color here uh, because right now it stitches the first one and it goes in and then it does a second one here it does a trim we have some uh, open space here that or some covered space that we can use to use a running stitch uh, to do that one and all we've got to do is go in and I'm going to choose my color here which is color number 20 I'm going to navigate I'll choose my running stitch and I'll start here and I'm going to stop here I'll press my escape key and so here because this is stitching first I'm going to navigate to my reshape tool and so this is where we can put the exit point there let me undo this or let's say that uh, we're going to take this I'm going to go to my reshape tool here and we want to move the starting point right underneath the border here like this and take this to the other side so it's going to run one I'm going to press my control key down two and then three and we're going to navigate for the sequence and choose one two three and that's going to allow that to stitch if I press shift tab it goes backwards so it stops here it starts stitching here and it exits there and let's see what it looks like in the stitch player it does it does this now okay avoiding the trim there we do have the ability to go in we could uh, change the stitching order also and do the same thing up top to the H and it just depends on how, how you want to tackle that particular issue uh, in your design okay and again uh, if if you want to also you can do the same thing to the top of the H here as well um, I decided to do this on the bottom because this is the first thing that stitches and um, that's going to do it. 
I do thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing you for our next session. Uh, have a great day.